Hill questions. Herb Dean's refereeing in Pereira KO loss. Clean break needed. Controversy continues to swirl around Jamal Hill's knockout loss to Alex Pereira at UFC 300. Hill is questioning referee Herb Dean's decision not to fully separate the fighters after a potential low blow. Hill claims a clean break would have allowed him to recover and potentially defend himself better. Was Dean's officiating a factor in the fight's outcome? Like I said, man, it's, it's protect yourself at all times. But like, you know, right after they tell you that, it's, it's obey my commands at all times too, you know? And um, when in the moment, in the moment, whenever it happened, I, I stopped. He said stop before he interjected, I stopped. And you can see Alex continues to close the distance on me. So, and then like, like I understand, like, yeah, it's a cold moment all, oh, he got hit in the nuts, he got pushed off. It wasn't a grunt, he pushed it off and then he can't, it wasn't a groin strike. And him closing the angle on me while I while I'm trying to check and make sure he's good and things like that. That's a, this a, it was a, it was a gritty competitor move. You know I should have something I should have I should have peeped it, caught on to and protected myself against. You know, but um, if Herb Dean could have done anything, I would have liked to have had a, a a more clean and better reset. UFC 300 winner faces NSAC Heat. Victory lap lands Lopes in hot water. Looks like Diego Lopez UFC 300 win came with an unexpected complication. The Brazilian Savage is headed to a hearing with the Nevada State Athletic Commission next Tuesday. Apparently, his post-fight celebration, which included hopping the fence, has the NSAC withholding his purse. Could this celebratory jump cost Lopes dearly? Gaethje. Skills not gone. Eyes, another shot at UFC title. Get ready for another Gaethje war. The highlight is back and insists his fight fighting spirit and skills haven't diminished. Despite a recent loss, Gaethje still believes a shot at UFC gold is within reach. You know, um, I could let this break me, but you know, if, if my skills weren't there, I definitely would, would have different questions, but I, I know for a fact that my, my skills are still there. I'm still able to, you know, perform like I always have been able to perform. And, you know, as long as I have that skill and, the, and that desire, then I, you know, I see no reason to, to not fight again. You certainly don't know what the future holds. So you just gotta be in the present time. So obviously right now after this fight, you know, don't like losing again, that sucks. You know, my potential to fight for a belt is definitely diminished. However, it's not impossible. You know, I knocked out Dustin Poirier, now he's fighting for a belt. You never know what uh, what this sport's gonna bring. So I'm gonna stay, stay uh, healthy, stay, you know, not get too out of shape because at this age, I don't want to get too far out of shape. Jamahal Hill is prioritizing fame over fight order. Sweet Dreams revealed he rejected a main event slot to fight Khalil Roundtree Jr. in favor of being on the same card as the superstar Conor McGregor at UFC 303. Is this a gamble that will pay off with increased exposure, or will Hill miss out on the prestige of a main event? This is what he stated. Conor is the star in the game. I was offered a main event to fight Khalil. I was like, nah, the Conor card is right there. It's good enough, and I definitely want that. So I turned down a main event to get on this. Chandler fires back at critics. You'd all do the same for the McGregor fight. Never one to shy away from a microphone. Michael Chandler is addressing the criticism surrounding his inactivity, waiting for the Conor McGregor fight. Chandler claims any fighter in his position would have done the same for the massive payday and spotlight a McGregor fight brings. Is Chandler right? Was the gamble worth the potential reward? Or has inactivity hurt his chances of winning the lightweight strap? He stated, anybody in the sport of mixed martial arts. Whether they are lying to you or not, they would have done exactly what I did. Trust me, they're all full of envy. They can act like they're tough guys, and they would have fought four times in the time that I sat out. Maybe I missed out on one or two fights, but none of them are going to even hold a candle to what is about to happen June 29th. Aldo backs Dvalishvili to upset O'Malley. Sugar in for a rough night? The legendary Jose Aldo is throwing a curveball. Aldo, the man Sean O'Malley aspires to emulate, has picked Merab Dvalishvili to emerge victorious in their P-coming fight. Is this a sign of respect for Dvalishvili's grinding style or a subtle diss towards O'Malley's hype? He stated, Sean has his merits. He's a champion. He dethroned Aljamain Sterling. But a fight against O'Malley and Merab, I think Merab is a great striker who plays very well in the short distance, and I think he'll come out on top. Conor McGregor releases new sparring footage.
Thanks for watching. Smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe.